Good morning guys, welcome back, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video and we're back for another vlog. Since I've changed my vlog style, you guys have been just loving the whole like hang out with me vlogs. It's always what I have done with my moving vlogs, just like generally showing you like what I bought, the house, life updates in general and you know what, I absolutely love filming them because they're just so diverse, you never know what you're going to get. Um, so I thought we would just pick up the camera and start a new vlog. I posted my other vlog just yesterday, which has got a great, great response. You guys are loving the new style and obviously the whole kind of montage -y things I do, which I love adding music to videos and doing all that. So I definitely want to do that more. I won't do it all the time because I know some, I watch some people who do it and sometimes it goes on a bit long and I'm like, Right, I didn't come for the music. I came to like hear what you got to say. So I'm definitely going to try and keep a nice big balance of things. As you can see from starting this vlog, we're just keeping it really, really candid. The sun is shining today. It is so lovely. Um, I dyed my hair yesterday and it's still looking a bit... I don't know. Like, I don't know about you guys, right? I am 25. I've just turned 25 and I get greys hair so bad but i also get loads of people ask me about my hair because as you can see i have quite long quite long hair um and they ask me what i do and things like that to keep it healthy and things and honestly i do everything myself so if you guys do want a more in-depth i can talk about it maybe in like next week's vlog or one of the vlogs coming up because I just feel like it's one of those things you either kind of want to know or don't want to know. So I thought we could start the day by getting ready. Just a little tiny morning routine of what I do. I'm just going to pop my hair up. This um, scrunchie is the Lily Silk scrunchie that I got from one of my other videos. I can't even remember what it was. Um, <laughs> one of the other uh, moving vlogs, wasn't it? And honestly, guys, genuinely, like you guys know that I get sent stuff all the time and yes that was a sponsored video but quite frankly I have been loving like I wasn't lying I absolutely love love the scrunchies and we love the um pillowcases we sleep on them every night and I finally bought some detergent to wash them because you've got to hand wash them so that's great so the first thing I'm going to do is probably one of the most important steps we should all do every single day which is brush our teeth or meggies as I used to call it when I was a child which is why I'm super excited to say that today's vlog is sponsored by Fairy Will. they have sent me over their new Sonic P11 toothbrush and my goodness guys, can you see how beautiful this is? I've never had a good toothbrush. I've always been that person that's just like, it's a means to an end. But it's quite frankly like bedding. It's like a coat. You know, those things that you should have a good thing of. You don't necessarily need to spend a fortune because this does not cost a lot of money. But this toothbrush is so, so pretty. So I've got the white one, it does come in black, and it's got this beautiful rose gold like trim around it and around the button. It comes in this box here, so this is what it looks like. If we open it up, I'll show you when I did open it now on the overcut. You do get the three little, four little boxes inside, which comes with your charger. You get a few replacement heads. You obviously get the full toothbrush and more fun. What I love about this is you get the travel case, which matches the toothbrush. I have been trying this out now for quite a little while. It is a sonic toothbrush, which means it does the like sonic vibrations. And it does come with eight heads in this kit. You can get it on Amazon. It's super, super available and easy. Like I said, it comes in black and white. So if you kind of want like a Mr. Mrs. thing going on, it's really, really cool. Obviously a toothbrush is great for any occasion for purchase because it's one of those things that you buy. And this thing will last you I mean, it lasts you as long as, as long as this unit can last, which is a long, long, long time. But it does come with eight replacement heads. So based on the fact that you should change your toothbrush head every three months, that is a two year supply. Something else that's really cool that I learned, I was just reading the Amazon page just before I got it, is that as you can see, the bristles are blue. So when the toothbrush is coming to like the end of its hygienic life, it's got like the color changing reminder. So the blue will disappear. It does charge for up to two hours, which is a 30 day use. So you haven't got to worry about recharging. And then my favorite feature is it actually has the timer built in, which is quite common. So you should brush your teeth for two minutes, but it actually has three different settings. So the first one you've got is the clean mode. You then have the soft mode, which is this one. And then you have the massage mode, which is 
that. It's also got the really cool LEDs which make it look really, really pretty. But it has got little reminder features as well so it'll pop off when there's like 30 seconds left and things. So yeah, I've really been enjoying using this toothbrush and that aesthetic is me. So that all being said, I'm actually gonna have a little brush with my teeth now and then we'll come back and do a little bit of skincare. and all done so obviously i'll leave the link to this toothbrush down below as i said it does it's sold on amazon so it's very easy accessible i believe it's prime as well if you're a prime member but yeah really cool toothbrush and thank you again to fairy well for sponsoring today's vlog Okay, so after I have brushed my teeth, which you should do every morning and every night, I'm then gonna go in with my favorite, uh, which is the Bioderma. Just getting my cotton pads out here. You guys know, OG favorite is the Bioderma. This is um, got a lot easier to find in the UK. It used to be quite hard to find, which was really annoying. I had to get it when I went to France, but it was also a lot more expensive in France because I think in Euros it was more expensive. But that's so much more accessible online now. I think they even sell it on, they sell it on all the major websites like Look Fantastic and all of that. I think that's where I got it last time, I believe. Yeah, I think it would look fantastic. But genuinely, if you get cringed out by skincare or whatever, then look away in a second. But like my skin, I haven't had makeup on for a couple of days. So there really shouldn't be anything left. I've just slept. I even wash my face every single time I have a shower, which is at least twice a day. And somehow, like how is that still on my skin? I don't get it. Then an OG product, although I have to wash my hands. I've got this compulsion where like, before I put on moisturizer at all, like even when I start my makeup, I have to wash my hands because I just have the thought of like, even if I just touch my phone for a second, I'm like, there's so many germs on that phone. I, I just can't fathom it. So anyway, I'm going in with the Chanel Hydra Beauty Serum. This, as you can see, I've used a lot of. It's one of my OG favorites. I'm just popping this serum over it. I love wearing this serum when it's a non-makeup day because it's just, usually serums I find don't go that far, but this glides on really nicely. And then one of my favorite finisher up every single day products is the Glam Glow Bright Eyes Illuminating Anti-Fatigue Eye Cream. So this thing, the packaging as you can see is stunning. I have mentioned it before, but it is like just a slightly pink shimmery tinted eye cream. And I just find this like actually instantly wakes you up. It's a really nice cream. I'll put a little bit on my lips as well, because if you guys didn't know, Basically any eye cream you buy, you can use on your lips because the skin on your lips and under your eyes are very, very similar. And then I finish up a little bit on my lips as well with this product here. This is the Burt's Bees Caramel Lip Balm. And it is just a lip balm with a tiny bit of shimmer. I got this on Amazon just as a fluke. I just seen it and I was like, I really want that. And I just like the little shimmer it gives you. And that, my friends, is my morning routine. <laughs> No, seriously, I do tend to do different things each day, but that is one of my quick and easy routines. Get up, brush your teeth, put some skincare on, cleanse the skin, and you're done. We've got a run out today to go to the supermarket at lunchtime to go and grab some bits and bobs for the house. Also, I'm going to be changing my curtains today in the bedroom, and I'm going to be showing you guys my smart curtains, which I'm very excited about. You guys have asked me about them so much, so... I was gonna show you because I've showed a little sneak peek on Insta and people were like, are your curtains moving on their own? And I'm like, they are. And then I'm so excited because tomorrow, we're having a big deep clean of the house tonight because tomorrow we have got my friends Callum and Henry staying over and we're having our first barbecue in this house since we've got our patio, since we've got the barbecue. I'm really excited. So we'll see how much I film. It's probably gonna be a little bit of like a weekend vlog, just all over the place, depending on how much we get. So without further ado, I'm gonna go get a coffee and I'm gonna start work, cause it is Friday, yay! And that's about it. Right, so I am finally changing these curtains here. They were never meant to stay this long. 
So, I finally bought the ones that I have downstairs. So many of you guys were saying that you think that we should have the long curtains down here, like to the floor, so took your recommendation as I do always, so thank you so much for commenting. And I re-bought the same ones from downstairs, which are the Eyelet um, Blackout Cambridge, Cambridge curtains. Um, sorry, I ran up the stairs and I'm really out of breath. But yeah, I bought those curtains. I did actually think that they were a lot closer to the bedspread than they are, but if you can see like where the bedspread has got a shine, it kind of has the same similar tones. It's the same tone anyway, and also I noticed when they're hung up, because I hung them up on that rail, um, just on their little hooks here, they actually look really good against the light. It makes them look darker, so they actually match really well. So I've decided to go for these. Honestly, guys, I know loads of you who watch these vlogs are obviously homeowners or you're going to be moving house soon or whatever, you're aspiring to move house. Curtains. Curtains are something that are not cheap, which is really interesting. Like, I tell you what, this curtain rail you can see here, we got them all from Denelm because we just really wanted good curtain rails because we thought at the end of the day curtains are curtain like the curtains are going to be really expensive curtain rails can only be so much so you can get cheaper than these ones here i will link our curtain rails down below because we literally have these in every room they're 25 pounds for the curtain rail that is slightly shorter so like a standard size window as you can see this is a wide window so it's slightly bigger so i believe that one was 30 pounds but like when you think about that it's a four bedroom house four bedroom upstairs and then you've got your kitchen, your front of the house, the living room and the other front of the house. Do the maths, 20 pound a room. Before you know it, you're spending a good, just like good 200 pounds on just curtain rails. But yeah, these curtains were never meant to stay. They were from Andy's flat. You might be able to see on camera, but they're a little bit yellow. They're a little bit gross. We kind of don't, we're, we're not feeling it, you know, no good. So I loved these so much downstairs. They look amazing and I'm so happy with the quality. And you do buy them individually, strangely enough, because I don't know why you'd want one panel of curtains. But anyway, they are only 15 pound, 15 pounds for one panel. So 30 quid and you can get yourself some beautiful eyelet curtains that are really nice quality. They do need a steam when you put them up, but they've been amazing since. I've got my screwdriver and I'm just unscrewing the edges of that rail and I'm gonna put these up. So let's see what the transformation looks like. You guys told me I should have long curtains in here, so I've trusted you on this. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Baby going down, 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 down. Baby going down, 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 down. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. And here we go. Oh my goodness, I think you guys were so right. I definitely love the long look. That looks ace. Something else I get asked a lot about as well is a couple of you, a few of you, um, caught on my Instagram story that we do have automatic closing curtains. Um, so they are voice activated to close. Now, obviously you've just seen I bought the normal curtains. It's a Denelm curtain rail and everything. So. Um, I thought I'd just share with you while we're here because I know that people were curious, but these things are what we use to make our curtains voice activated. So this is a device called the SwitchBot and it is a little thing you place on your rail and it can connect to your like Google, Alexa, Siri, whatever. Um, this little thing on the back is a solar panel, so it keeps it charged, so obviously that's facing out to the sun. And yeah, you can voice activate it and close your curtains, and I have got so used to this, you have no idea. So we've got Google in the hallway out there, and I literally, every night before bed, just hit Google, close the bedroom curtains, and it will close the curtains. And then in the morning, you can even set it on a timer, so like when me and Andy know we want to get up early, or if we've got to get up early for anything, we'll set the curtains to open at like 7 a.m. and then like the natural daylight just wakes you up. It's so nice. So I'll plug them, I'll like reinstall them back in and I'll try and show you guys either now or later on in the day in this vlog because loads of you asked me about them. So I will leave the link down below. I'll just show you now as we're doing it. So, hey Google, close the bedroom curtains. 
and as you can see, they close. <laughs> So yeah, I absolutely love, love that feature and obviously then you can actually see how black out these curtains are. They are very, I wouldn't say, I'd say blackout means blacked out and clearly as you can see, you can see the window through it. But the camera, I've got the exposure up really high so it looks super bright but in reality, this is what we are seeing. It's very, very, very dark. So then if I go, hey Google, open the bedroom curtains as I do every morning, then we should have a nice little grand opening to the day. <laughs> it's such a fun feature, I absolutely love having these. I would not go back now knowing that they're sort of like, you know, this smart thing you get used to. Like we had them unplugged for whatever reason, like Andy borrowed the plug for the hub and I went to go do it and it didn't work and I was like, what, what, what? And I like, Andy made a joke, he was like, you're gonna have to close your own curtains tonight. I'm like, no, I've got so accustomed to just my curtains opening and closing, but love it. Love smart things. Andy is into all the smart home stuff, so we're slowly getting more and more things to make our home smart. But there's the bed and there's the curtains. You can see that they aren't the same exact colour, but you're not gonna get exactly the same, are you? But I actually love this. I love the length, I love how it looks. Thank you guys so much for your suggestion. So now that I've showed you the curtains, I also want to show you the curtains in here. This is what we're doing in the spare bedroom. So these are the curtains I bought yesterday from Danelm, which are blackout curtains. Um, and I really, really like them. They were, they're part of their new range. I can't think what they're called, like Hampton or something, but they're only for this size, 25 pounds for the curtain. Now I can't show you this window because there is a, I can't show you out of it because there's a big sign out there that says our housing development name. So clearly I shouldn't be sharing something like that. But we are gonna be putting up these curtains soon so I'll show you when they're up. The bed needs to be made because Andy was stood on here to drill the holes up above the um, window. So we're just gonna go and, this is the curtain rail actually, here we go, I can show you. This is the size of the one the, for a normal, uh, window which is 120 to 210 cm extendable um, and it's the Ashton ones with the chrome globes at the end which we really like but that needs to be taken back in exchange because it's actually broken one of the threads on the knob is not doesn't work so we need to change that and then we're going to put it up there and obviously I'm going to make the bed and just make this room a bit nicer because it's become a dumping ground for my stuff uh, and then I mean even like this like there's not even, I don't even know what this stuff is, like I've not needed it, that's an empty drawer. And then this is all of my backup products, brand new products, so yes, there's Calum and Henry's towel. So there's some fresh towels from them, there's our drill here ready to go to put the curtain rail up. And then I, these are left over from my bedroom, but Andy really doesn't like them so I probably will not keep them in the house. Um, I love window mirrors, but yeah. I'm probably not gonna keep these. I forgot to show him what I got for my birthday video as well. I'm just about to set this up. Um, I actually ended up getting this, which is so beautiful. It's a hurricane lantern, and I'm planning on putting it like on the outside decking now that it's done. I keep saying decking, I mean patio. And I'm just unpacking that now. And also something I forgot from my, um, what I got for my birthday video, I don't know how I can forget this, is the Pampas, which I showed you guys in another vlog. But this is from Steph, and I did mention it in there, but I am obsessed with this. It's so beautiful. It's not staying down here, it is gonna go in my beauty room when I've got it figured out, but I'm just gonna redo this side as well since we've got Callum and Henry coming this weekend. I just want it to look nice, you know, that definitely needs some art. That definitely needs some art, and we're gonna get a nice big chrome clock to go there, I think, one of the hollow ones. I've just given the kitchen a nice little clean, so it's really nice and fresh. It's literally such a annoying way they packaged it. But I think this will look really nice outside. Like, because it's, it's black, obviously, I was gonna spray paint it like white or cream, but I quite like the black. But obviously, as you can clearly see, there is not much black going on in this house. So I'm thinking it's gonna be more of a garden feature. I love hurricane jars. I think they're so beautiful. Now maybe you guys have got some tips for this because I imagine you do because I need to know. So if I was to put a real candle, so I'm definitely not going to, 
obviously it would be like a pillar candle so that wax melts down the side and it would literally get stuck in there so like how would you guys take it out because let me get my let me get the options let me show you okay so i've got like this which is a fake candle that flickers so obviously that would look fine in there and that's no problem sorted but this one would look nicer this is just from ikea it's one of their pillar candles but obviously that's more of like a, an appropriate size but you definitely couldn't burn that because it would just it would just like the wax would just secure it in there and then you can i can barely fit my hand in so you wouldn't get it out I don't know, for now I'm gonna put this in, but if you guys can let me know if you know, is there any tricks or tips or anything you can give me for putting a pillar candle in there that I can burn? Um, but for now, I'll put this one. And I think that's gonna look really nice. That's gonna look really cute. Thing is, I'm such a big, I'm such a big fan of real flames, but that is very cute. I do love that. It reminds me of my silhouette vases. If you guys have seen on my Instagram, you know, shameless plug, you know what to go do. But I have shared over there a couple of times my silhouette vases, which if you don't know, it's going to sound weird, but go check them out. They're really cool. They're very different. They're basically wired vases. Like I said, the black definitely doesn't go in the house, but outside I think it will look amazing. But I would love to have a real flame in that because I think it would look even better. It's a bit later on now. And why did I start this? I am finally just tackling, and I think the tackle is the right word, tackling some cleaning of brushes. Um, I have not cleaned my brushes in ages. I have to say, it is nice having such a big space. I've cleaned all of yesterday, last night, I cleaned all of the bathroom and everything. We don't, like, we literally don't use this bathroom, so it was super, super clean already. I just went over it once. So Calum and Henry have got a nice bathroom all to themselves. Um, but I did just want to clean my makeup brushes because there has been a few. Like, I've been doing my makeup recently and it just feels absolutely gross. I did do a massive clean just before we moved. So that was four months ago. Hmm. So I thought we could do a little bit of a time lapse of some deep cleaning of my brushes so you can see what I use. I am aware I also have a copious amount of brushes. But remember, I did work as a makeup artist for four years full time. So you do acquire quite a lot. Um, and I also have shopping habit issues, so. I really thought we had it covered. Was gonna patch up all the scars, but we smashed up all the parts. Oh, no, no, no. Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard. Figure out who you really are I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby going down, 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 down Baby going down, 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 down Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes Baby going down, 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 down Yeah And I thought It's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure Just thought I should let you know back from Morrison's now. Look at this bad boy for the barbecue. You get 18 large white baps for 100, uh, 150, <laughs> £1.50. We did manage to squash a couple in the car though, which makes me deeply upset. Go come out. And then we have this food shop. That's all we got. Look at this. This looks really good. Chili cheese dip. Um, we also got some peri peri hummus. I got a new basil plant. This also looked really good, the ultimate burger coleslaw. And then I got the uh, potato salad. I'm gonna make a salad myself. Massive milk, your hair gels. Oh, it's in my handbag. Oh. Over there. Yeah. You can get back to work. And then I have rearranged this top bit here, which I think looks all right for now. And put the photos down here, keep that clear. But this will change, I think. But 
We also got a meal deal. So we got a ultimate Wiltshire ham and Emmental baguette, which looks just delightful. Time to get back to work. Okay, we're putting up the curtain pole. Finally. So I can make the bed. And we can put these nice drapes up. Oh. I haven't found any nice tie backs I like. Let's get some tie backs in here and I need some for my beauty room. I've not seen any I like. I actually haven't looked in denim, so I'll have a look there. We have drapes. Are they the right way around? No, I put them on opposite ways. Well done. I'll try that again. Oops. Ta da! -da. They're nice because they're white, but they're not, they're like a gray white. I was a bit worried about having white because I thought oh, they're just going to go gross or they're going to look a bit much, but they're not. They look all right. They look good. I'll be like, hello. <laughs> Do you like the little setup? I've done it over here. So I just, just because at the minute we haven't got in like anything here, as you can see, it's just the spare room. I came and put these here which you will see in an upcoming video um a poundland haul actually these are from and then this is just some little black pampas that i got uh, not pampas bunny tails and a little vase but i really like that vibe i think it looks really really nice and elegant so i got that i'm gonna move all of this stuff out of the room i literally don't know what i'm doing with this pillow i love this body pillow but i think it's gonna have to go which makes me very upset and then I need to move that Louis bag, I need to give that a dust, obviously make up the bed. And then, that should be the extent of it. The towels are washed, so I'm just going to put those nicely, like, on the bed. And yeah, should be all ready for my boys. But there we go. They look good, they go really well with the room. No matter what we do in here, it'll always match. It is a bit later now. What has just happened is I... I've been meaning to put the washing away, so I put the washing away, and then I realised that there's literally physically no more room in this wardrobe. So these are built-in wardrobes that we um, got built into the house, but they are literally the most stupidest design. I was going to, well they're not the stupidest design, but it annoys me, I just wish there wasn't a shelf, I wish that was higher and there was another rail there but it is what it is, they came like that. These are handy, but I wanna get some bins because I think that would be a lot easier to pull out because that just kind of ends up getting really, really messy and I never go to obviously the stuff at the bottom because it's just hard to get out. And then now I have just, I've done it, I've committed, I'm going to have a purge of loads of stuff in here because I do not wear half the stuff. And what really annoys me is I literally, when we have like an event planned or something, I'll come in here and try and find something to wear and I just won't like any of it. So not an ideal time to do this really because it means I'm going to have a sack of donations and a sack of things to sell sitting around the house, which I don't really want when Callum and Henry are here, but I just can't help it. <laughs> They've seen you. Hi. Oh dear. I a glass of water. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that now because I need to change over my clothes anyway from the winter to the summer wardrobe. It's a job I've been putting off. Uh, it's just a tedious job. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna just have a massive purge because I need to get rid of some stuff. <laughs> yeah, so here we go. Let's do it. Okay, one whole bag for donations. And that's all to sell, woo! Good morning, guys. So I just wanted to jump on here and finish up the vlogs. Obviously, I finished decluttering all of my wardrobe. That big bag of donations has gone in my car, ready to drop off at the charity bank clothing bin thing on Monday and then I do have a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna sell as well. I do get asked quite a lot where I sell like if I go on Depop or whatever and I don't so I'm actually on eBay so I will leave my eBay page down below. I don't sell all the time it's only when I have like obviously little clear outs and stuff but if you guys actually are interested then let me know. I won't list anything until this video goes live so 
I'll try and coincide them, but if you click on the link and there's nothing there, then keep posted on Instagram. I will go ahead and post over there when things are live. <laughs> but yeah, it's just been another sort of mishmash all over the place, moving style vlog, all to do with the house and renovations and changes. And yeah, I'm so excited. The sun is shining. It's gonna be shining today. And I've got to take off all of our furniture covers out there and set it up for, um, for having a barbecue today, which I'm really, really excited about. But thank you guys for joining me again for another vlog. Do let me know down in the comments what is your favorite part about these vlogs. Obviously, I always try and add little hauls in where I can, and I know you love the home content, but is there anything else would you, do you like more sit down chatting or do you like more of the montages? Like, it just gives me a general idea. If you could pop me a little comment down below, that would be brilliant. And apart from that, guys, thank you for watching. You know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button, click the subscribe and the notification bell if you haven't already to be notified every time I upload. And apart from that, guys, I will see you soon. Make sure you stay safe and stay beautiful and I will see you all in my next video. Ciao. Reason why I feel like I can fly. Think about your day and night. I love it when you kiss me. Love it when we touch. Every time I'm down, you, you make me smile. You're the solution.